Hello everybody, my name is Gravity, and um, I'm going to try and make some poor man's pizza. And what I mean by that is I have some bread, I have some uh, marinara sauce, I have some sausage, and I have some mozzarella cheese. So I'm going to put some cheese on this bread uh, with some tomato sauce, and I'm going to cut up this uh, sausage into thin slices so it can be pepperoni, and I'm going to see if I can make a pizza. So the first thing I want to do is just toast this bread, you know, just a little bit, just so the bread won't be soggy whenever I put the, the tomato sauce on it. And This toaster is not plugged in. Okay, now that the toaster is plugged in, I push the pushy thing down. That's the technical term for this thing. It's the, it's the pushy thing. And uh, I'm just going to let it toast just for a little bit. Not for too long, just a little bit. Okay, so I let it get a little toasty, but not that much. Now I'm going to open up this jar of marinara. And I'm going to put the sauce on my crust. Alright, sauce is on the crust. Now it's time for the cheese. Okay, the cheese has been applied on the sauce that's on the crust. Now it is time to take the sausage. And uh, I know I'm not going to use this whole sausage, obviously. But I'm going to chop it up into small slices and uh, put it on top here. Okay, and the pepperonis have been placed onto the pizza thingies. So now I'm going to take them and transfer them over to this. Oh, I don't, I don't think I can pick them up with one hand. I'm going to have to stop recording and pick them up with two hands. But I'm going to pick these up and I'm going to transfer them over to this dish, which I will put in the oven. I'm going to lowball it and say two minutes at 300 degrees, see where it's at. And if I think it's okay, I'll take it out and eat it. If I think it's not, then I'll let it stay in there a little bit longer. I thought about putting it in the microwave, but microwaves tend to make things soggy. And I want this to be the best poor man's pizza that I could possibly make. Even though a poor man's pizza might make it in the microwave, most people have ovens. So I would think you could still make poor man's pizza with an oven. Alright, here goes the pizza into the oven at 300 degrees for about 2 minutes and 30 seconds. It'll probably be in there longer, but I don't want to I don't want to overshoot it. Okay, it's been in there for about 3 minutes. The cheese doesn't look very melty, so I'm going to let it stay in there for a little bit longer. All right, I'm pretty confident it's done. It's been in there for a little bit. So I want to go ahead and take it out cuz I don't want to burn it. Cuz that would be bad. I'll be 100% honest, it smells like pizza. Okay, okay, so it looks like the cheese did look pretty good. Okay, let me go get a plate. Okay, along with poor man's pizza, we're going to have poor man's plate. It's a styrofoam plate here. Let's see if we can, uh, we can, uh, ooh, seems like it's going to be kind of crispy. That's good. Crispy is good. Okay, uh, I don't know how hot it is. I don't want to burden myself. So here it is on the plate. Lovely. Okay, so it's not that hot. Alright, so I have no cameraman, so I'm just going to have to eat it behind the behind the camera. Is it very hard? I took another bite. That means it's good. I'm glad that I toasted the bread just a little bit first. Because that toasting and then it being in the oven for a little bit, it actually does give it kind of a crunch. And it is actually pretty good. I mean, it's pretty obvious that the sausage I used is not pepperoni. But it still goes very well with the rest of the pizza. This is completely a, a snack you can make. And just be perfectly content with how it comes out. It, it is good. It's good. Um, 10 out of 10. For poor man's pizza. So if you ever want pizza. And you're stuck inside. Because there's a snowstorm outside. Trying to kill you. In the middle of Texas. And you have spaghetti sauce. White bread. Mozzarella cheese. And uh, some sausage. Or any variation of any of those things. Um, then you can make yourself some pizza. If you're craving pizza. Not sure how you'd be able to make it. With the power being out though. Unless you have a gas stove in which you need to make sure it actually lights and you don't accidentally gas yourself. Anyway, this is this and that is that. This is pizza and it's great. Thank you everybody so much for watching and I'll see you next time I want to do something. Alright, bye.